Yeah. So we, so we knew that. Hold on, let me show the math problem. Does anyone have it out? We can show it. It's the baseball I field. I oh, I okay. Is this the math problem? There it is. It's this math problem that shows that the players on a field can cover 13 degrees and a pitcher can cover six, and they're asking how, what part of the field can the batter hit and get on base? Okay, so explain it, Aiden. So, so we discovered that I can do 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 6, and then that equals 13. So then, and, and then of course there's 90 degrees in the whole thing, so then we subtracted 90 by 58 and got 32. And that's how much. Okay, so read what they what Katie and Storm wrote on the other side. Read what they wrote. Katie. First, I set up thirteen plus thirteen plus thirteen plus thirteen plus six, and got fifty-eight. Now skip down to where the arrow is. Ninety degrees is a whole field. You subtract thirteen and thirteen and thirteen and thirteen and six. Ninety. Because you are adding the players to the field. The batter had 90 to hit the ball, but now he only has 32. We added the players and had to subtract from 90. That was perfect. And now let's go to the. Okay, quite on the set. What's the med point at A? Which one of those angles do you know for sure, though? What about A, B, or C, though? I'm not sure. What kind of triangles are those? Which means that all the sides are the same, and what else are the same? If all the sides are the same, what? It's 60, isn't it? It is, B is 60, but why is that? Why is that, Philip? Because it's like a reflection of each other, so they're each of them 60. They're 60. 60, 60, and 60. So, B is 60. Okay, what about, oh, what does that mean for C? Then C would be 60 because it's the exact same thing. Yeah. It's in your schedule for today. Okay, what is A now? We, we oh. knew that. Do you know what it is? Plus 60 because that would be a side. Oh. No, it looks like Wait a minute. You're, it's 60 plus 60 is going to be what? That would be 120. And can you tell that that's the same angle? Look at uh, B and the angle right across from it. Is that the same? Yeah. So an A is two angles put together, right? Mm -hmm. So it's what? 120. Nice. Okay. And what we did was, if this would be 60 if we put a triangle right here, right? Mm -hmm. And another triangle if you just Upside down there? Away. Right. And we could do that by flipping through real quick. I'm trying to get to the end of the PowerPoint. You could just click in PowerPoint. Which slide was it? Was it this one? If we put that here, and then we copied it, and then we flipped it like this, and then put it down like this. Oh, see, and then these two 60s would make 120? That was really smart. Okay, keep going, because we have, uh, where was the hard one? That one was a hard one? Oh, what about this one? Erase that. Keep going, Aaron. What's the measure for angle G? So, G would be 90 degrees right here. Yeah, so that's 90. So, could you draw your... Don't we have a little circle on one of those? Oh, sorry. Sorry. 
I'm just trying to get to the end. Why do you think it's to stop it? Escape? Stop. <laughs> stop it. Like a there it is. Hold on. Could you erase that and explain that part, Aaron? Right. Okay, so keep just do it. Go ahead and get the answer. What's half of 270? Half of 270. What is it, Ann? 135. 135. How many people feel comfortable with this type of problem? I do. Nice work.